bro? Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? Oh, not according to what he said about Esau. Oh, there we go. That's all they did here. That's all they see. He knows that too. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So God is telling you he's in the midst of Israel. Meaning he's only dealing with them. Keep going. And that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. Your God. Very possessive. Very possessive. Okay? And none else. Everybody else. And none else. Uh, some other, other nations. And none else. He said he's not dealing with nobody else. Look at this sound right here, bro. Have you ever heard that you was Israelite? <laughs> have you ever heard that you was Israelite? Hey, turn me up. Turn me up. Have you yes, ever heard? I have. Okay. What tribe would you come from? Like on this left, on this, uh, well, your, your right, your right side. I'm from Judah, bro. There you go. Yeah, Guess who else came from that tribe? Uh, from Judah? Yeah. Uh, I want to say, uh, David. David, who else? Who's his son? Who's his son? Yeah, David's son. Oh, uh, maybe a grandson of Baal. I'm not Baal, but... Solomon, right? Baal? Solomon. Solomon, yeah. Yep. Christ did too. They all came from the line of David, meaning that same blood that ran, that's, that ran through them is running through your veins right now. This isn't a fairy book. It's not a fairy tale book, all right? This is real. Yeah, I'm Okay. Sure, bro. What? Yeah, right. wait, so give me that name. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. You from the tribe of Judah, right? Listen to this. Listen to this. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ came out of the tribe of Judah like we just mentioned, just to prove that that also proves that Christ Christ came from the seed of man. Yeah, yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, Read that sure. again. Sure, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right. Out of Judah, meaning you have to come through the seed. Remember, it was it was always foretold that he's going to come through the line of David, through the loins of David. What's the loins? Oh, that's your seed. That's, that's your seed. Yeah. That's your rod. Yeah. All right? Now, give me this. If you are, go to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Real quick. 28 in verse uh, 15. Now, the reason why our people in this condition is because we chose not to keep the laws of God. Yeah, this, true. You understand that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do understand that us yeah. as the people are at the bottom of society. And God said that the man and his, and, his, and his father and his son shouldn't lay down with the same woman. That was a part of our punishment. That's, that's a fact. That's one of the laws. Yeah. That's one of the many laws that we had that we broke. Yeah. But we forgot about the Most High God. That's right. right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Nope. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're telling you, if we don't listen to the laws of God and to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we're telling you, we're going to be a cursed people. It's going to overtake us. All right. And the curse you see right now is that we're, we're below everybody. Every other nation is, is over us, meaning in, in, our, in our hoods, in our ghettos and projects, every corner store, you have what? The Arab man, right? right Selling yeah. you a, a cheese steak and a Dutch. Oh, All right? Yeah, and you got all, um, who else you got? You got um, Moab. You got the Chinese man. He's sitting there, um, he got all the, the, the cleaners. Beauty he got supply. the beauty supply right. stores, the massage parlors. Love you long time. Yeah, yeah. Am I right? You're right, bro. All right then, so we don't have no stake to this world. <sighs> Well, you know, in general Roman, they, they also, it also said that general Roman did that we would be going back in Egypt and boats, bro. 68. Yeah. That's what you want. So you yeah. know about this. You know a little something, yeah, right? Yeah, I know a whole lot. So bro. come on, what, what you waiting for, man? But look, but look, God, God don't fault us for ignorance, man. A lot of us couldn't read. We won't, we won't, oh, oh, we won't oh. afford it the chance but to we, read. But we right did know. He's, he's bringing us back to the fold now, but we did know. That's why we're in this punishment right now. We're serving it right now. Well, but they I'm changed what you the said. language, bro. We didn't know about what these people were talking about. No, that's right. Give me uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Just to go to your Bring point. 17 and 4. He said, our people, like you said, mm -hmm. lost our language, right? Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So we're saying that we're going to be discontinued from our heritage. Meaning we're going to be cut off. We're going to forget everything. We're going to forget our language, our traditions. Uh, the way we move, uh, the, uh, how holy days and things like that, we're going to forget all of that. That's a curse on us. And you know what it also says in there too, it says that we would be, uh, we would be ran by women 
And uh, and look, and look. Man, listen, you know this. Hey, look, man, what's look, we would be scared of children. So then, then we you walk around, man. I'm 56 years old. We walking around here being scared of them kids. Are them kids on your back? We just real quick. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speaking to the children of Israel. So we're speaking to you, all right? And bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. So he tell us we have to wear fringes throughout our generations, meaning what? What's a generation? What does that mean? Generation, that's from one lineage to the next. Now, so are the children of Israel still here? Yeah. So we still keep, we keep on going, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's the generation yeah. still here. So he's yeah. saying, put fringes in the border of your garments. I mean, at the... Uh, Read it again. I don't want to mess it up. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. All right, so you see all these brothers out here in purple right now. Look at the bottom of their garments. What do we got right here? We got these fringes with the ribbon of blue. All right, that's for a very specific reason. These are the laws that we fell away from, and that's why we're in captivity. Not saying just this, there's other laws, but right, right, if, we, right. if we stop keeping this law, we'll stop keeping another law, which keeps us in sin, okay? Yeah. Verse 39, and it, should, and it should be unto you for a friend, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and, they, and they, I'm sorry, that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go whoring. All right, so we're saying the reason why we have these fringes, give me sin. The reason why we have these fringes is to, to remind us to keep the laws of God. Okay, so when we get tempted in the world, we, we look down on these fringes and it's to remind us that God told us this is our covenant with him. This is how we know that he loves us because he set us apart from every other nation. No other nation was given these laws, okay? So when we look on these, it keeps us from sinning. What is sin? What's sin what does sin mean? What does sin mean? Oh man. Something against the Bible like that, what is sin? Man, breaking the command. Damn, you, you, you know, but you playing, man. <laughs> you playing around. <laughs> hey sis, hey sis right here. What is sin according to the Bible? What is sin? I got to commit, commit. Huh? It's not a thought. Dang, all right, listen to this, you're right. Listen to this. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth a sin transgresseth also the law. So we're saying whoever commits sin transgresses the law of God. Listen to this. For sin is a transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. Now they told you in church that the laws are done away with, right? But we're in the New Testament. Where we at? We where we at? The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. So he's saying we're in 1 John, this is the New Testament. He's saying if you break the laws of God, that is sin. That's why we're at the bottom right now because we keep breaking God's laws. Y'all probably didn't know it just like I did. I didn't know it neither. And so I learned in the Bible and started reading applying these, applying to the, applying the commandments. That's when my life has gotten so much better. A lot of you not, sis. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.